Now we know how aliens built their UFOs and controlled them, explains Dr. Stephen Greer of the uh, Disclosure Project. According to Dr. Stephen Greer, a leading advocate for the uh, public revelation of the government's contract, contact and extraterrestrial life, with extraterrestrial life, the government has been aware of and secretly studying extraterrestrial spacecraft and their inhabitants since the 1940s. Dr. Stephen Greer was an emergency room doctor. Now, through his research and gathered testimony from over 400 government officials, Dr. Greer has come to the conclusion that his research establishes, beyond any doubt, the reality of extraterrestrial life forms, UFOs or extraterrestrial vehicles, and advanced energy and propulsion technologies resulting from the study of these vehicles, as stated on the website of his organization, The Disclosure Project. Dr. Ted Loader, an earth scientist professor at the University of New Hampshire, who has been studying the subject for five years, praised Dr. Greer's research as absolutely first rate. The Disclosure Project is a nonprofit research organization founded in 1993, holds the belief that government organizations that are aware of alien life are operating outside of the view of Congress and that prior American presidents have been deliberately misled and denied access to this information. The organization contends that compartmentalized initiatives that require deliberate disclosure and pertinent legislation hold the key solution to the world's energy, environmental, and poverty concerns. Dr. Greer has compiled over 120 hours of testimony from his conversations with government representatives, which have been condensed into 18 hours of evidence. Notable testimony includes that of Brigadier General Stephen Lufkin of the Army National Guard Reserves and astronomer Gordon Cooper. During an interview with in on uh, you interview, he stated that UFOs are not unidentified flying objects, as the acronym suggests, but rather an alternative energy and propulsion devices. The technology behind UFOs was heavily studied by a team headed by Dr. Vannevar Bush in the 1940s, 50s, and 60s. And by 1954, they had developed what's known as gravity control and zero point energy. Note, Vannevar Bush was an American engineer, inventor, and science administrator who during World War II headed the U.S. Office of Spe Specific Research and Development, OSRD, through which almost all wartime military R&D was carried out, including important developments in radar and the initiation and early administration of the Manhattan Project. In January 2015, Former NASA astronaut Edgar Mitchell sent an email to Podesta asking him to have an urgent meeting to discuss disclosure and zero-point energy, the CPE. He was concerned about the peace in space. Mitchell wrote, my Catholic colleagues Terry Mansfield will be there too to bring, up to, date, to bring us up to date on the Vatican's awareness of ETI, that's extraterrestrial intelligence. Another colleague is working on a new space treaty citing involvement with Russia and China. However, with Russia's extreme interference in Ukraine, I believe we must pursue another route for peace in space and CPE on Earth. However, Dr. Greer stated that the secrecy surrounding this technology went off the rails and became deeply entrenched in compartmented intelligence operations, even causing President Eisenhower to become frustrated with being denied information on the projects. Dr. Greer said the problem became to be as, and this is what President Eisenhower warned us about, the secrecy became so enmeshed and compartmented in intelligence operations that even he as president lost control over it. And he further stated one of our military witnesses, as he was a young man working at the White House, which I'm looking at from my place where here in Washington, he told us, Mr. Lupkin, who is an attorney, said that Eisenhower was very frustrated that he was being denied information on the projects controlling this issue. So the secretary went off the rails into these unacknowledged special access, access projects. Now, Dr. Greer became involved in the study of UFOs after conducting 
investigations and attempting to make contact with the objects. He began by simply exploring and trying to make contact with various objects, but as he continued, he found out that there was a lot more to be discovered than he had initially thought. And through his investigations, Dr. Greer was able to document and uncover new information that had previously been unknown. He was later asked to brief President Clinton, Clinton's new CIA director, R. James Wolseley Jr., and realize that there were people within the government who knew about these projects and others who did not. The secretary, the, the secrecy surrounding UFOs, according to Dr. Greer, is not based on typical national security concerns, but rather on the potential economic impact of the technology. A similar concern was also raised by Stephen Bassett, the only registered lobbyist of Washington. The Paradigm Research Group, PRG, led by Stephen Bassett, was established in 1996 to eliminate a government-imposed embargo on the disclosure information about events that may be related to extraterrestrial phenomena. Uh, he has spoken to audiences around the world about the implications of formal disclosure by world governments of an extraterrestrial presence engaging the human race and given over 1,200 radio and television interviews. The PRG researchers claim they know the reasons why the U.S. authorities are hiding information about UFOs. According to them, the entire world economy will collapse if the UFO data is disclosed. Bassett added that so-called flying saucers do not use oil, gasoline, gas, or coal. They have a different energy system. Without a doubt, a much more complex and deep system based on anti-gravity, he said. Some programs have been removed from the jurisdiction of the White House and Congress and are working somewhere very, very deep in hidden mode. The researcher emphasized, I assure you, when the head of state finally officially admits this fact and presents evidence, people will start to worry and want to know more. But even if the economy stops developing in a current way, it will have new opportunities, Bassett believes. And the disclosure of UFOs would mean the end of oil, gas, coal, and public utilities, as the technology would completely transform the world. Those with trillions of dollars invested in these industries would not be enthused about this possibility. This is the reason for the secrecy, and it has been maintained for 70 years, according to Dr. Greer. Dr. Greer founded the Disclosure Project to bring this information to the public and has interviewed 800 to 900 people who have been involved in these projects. They have put a tip of the iceberg of this information into a movie called Unacknowledged to give people a sense of what the information is and how secrecy at this level is maintained. And this is by House and Wise Vicky Verma. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Please support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.